we do have two ducks that are in the road and I know for a fact that it will not see those ducks and it will try to plow right over them. So <laughs> hopefully those poor ducks move out of the way. Oh no. So it looks like it says, okay, we're done. I'm here. Hey guys, we're back again. We're gonna see if Smart Summon can come intelligently from a parking spot all the way to me without any interventions and hopefully no embarrassments. So this is hit or miss whether it works. I usually don't test it out in parking lots. I don't know, but we're gonna hit the lucky button and dial in a destination, hopefully a parking lot. And if I don't find one at the first try, I'll keep dialing in extra destinations. I wanna see how well it's going to do. So I usually do this in very controlled environments parking lots where I know there's not going to be a ton of traffic, but we're going to see how it reacts today. It could be good or it could be bad. One thing I did want to mention really quick before we get started here is that I have a key fob, okay? And if you do not have a key fob, it makes it a lot more difficult to get into your car quickly because often what happens is the car kind of takes a path where you don't really want it to take, but that's not really the big problem. The biggest problem is if somebody comes behind your car and your car is driving extremely slowly and that car starts honking and they don't know that no one's in the car. So that's the biggest embarrassment. And so basically what happens in that situation is you need to apologize profusely, wave your hand in the air and run toward the car and get in the car very, very quickly. And if you don't have the key fob and you're relying on the Bluetooth from your phone, that can be an issue sometimes because the doors do not unlock. And trust me, I know from experience. So for those of you who do not have the key fob, it's very easy to use it. You just double tap down and the car will unlock itself. So that's what I'll be using to get back into the car in the case that there's a big failure. All right, so we are ready to go. I just need to touch on the lucky button and it's gonna take us to some random location. So Deer Grove East. Hmm, I really don't think there's gonna be a parking lot there that has a lot of people. Let's try another one, Sculpture Park. It likes to pick kind of scenic places. Here's a lot of parks coming up, Community Park. Meacham Grove, these are all kind of nice park areas. Itasca Historical District, that's a little bit too far. We're just gonna have to keep touching it until we get a good location here. Spring Valley Nature Center and Heritage Farm. That might not be a bad idea, but there again, I think we're gonna run into a parking lot that doesn't have anything. So you know what? Let's abort the, the lucky button and let's go ahead and hit the hungry button and see where it takes us here. Uh, taste of Thai. Okay, this is interesting. So it looks like, let's just zoom out here. It looks like this is really close by. And yeah, that's not too bad. Let's try one other one, Hungry. I think this is the better, better way to test it here. Daruma, that's a good test to do. Let's try Daruma. Okay, we'll see if it can get us all the way there. And then we'll summon it from the Daruma parking lot. So Daruma, is a really cool Japanese restaurant. They actually have tatami mats there, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and dial that in. And once we are all dialed in, we'll go ahead and double tap down and the car will take off. Oh, we need to put it in drive first. All right, there we go. So now that we have it in drive, we'll go ahead and double tap down and the car will take off. All right, and we'll get our little light going down here so you can see the pedals. So I am not touching the accelerator or the brake pedal. For anybody that's new to these videos, I always put it to the test to see if I can drive without any interventions or disengagements, where an intervention counts as me stepping on the accelerator or basically that's it, or adjusting the speed really. And a disengagement counts as me jerking the steering, steering wheel or hitting on the brake where the autopilot or full self-driving mode gets canceled entirely. So interventions, not as severe, obviously, as disengagements, but I do like to track these in my videos. And I have been uh, basically tracking them in real time as I, as I do these videos. So usually a video is maybe, let's say, 20 minutes long. You know, you're only going to get maybe seven miles or eight miles out of that. So this is a good test just to see as we progress through time how well the, improve, how well the software is improving. So it should be interesting here when we get to this parking lot to see if the smart summon will work. I again have my key fob, so that's gonna come in real handy just in case I need to take over for an emergency. It is 6.30 p.m. on a Thursday night here. It is, the sun is going down. I think the sun sets around 7.20 or 7.30 now, which is really nice. It gives me a lot more extra time to do these videos. Previously, it would get dark around 4.30, which was a major pain in the butt because it would just be so dark. Okay, here we go, it's taking off. There is a car right behind us. 
and it did very well taking off there at no hesitation and coming into the far left lane no issues with that okay well done there okay and we'll let the car just kind of drive straight here and basically it's going to stay in this lane and then once it comes down to i think the second traffic light or so it's going to make a left turn and what's really neat to me to observe is that the car can intelligently recognize when the light that you're waiting in front of turns green even if it's a green arrow so let's say the the light adjacent to you turns green first the car intelligently ignores that which is nice I do appreciate that I remember in the early stages when I was testing with autopilot before I had full self-driving beta sometimes it would false trigger on another light that would turn green and it would try to go when it really should not have gone but in the full self-driving beta it does have the intelligence to recognize when there's a green arrow versus another light that might be conflicting with it. So that is one nice thing that I, I, I have enjoyed. But the clarity on the graphics has just gotten better over time. You can see it, it looks really smooth. The display looks really nice. Here we are getting in the left lane to turn into this parking lot and very well done. It's getting in the far left lane. And the reason why I say that was well done is because you're gonna see here pretty quickly, we're gonna be turning left to get into this parking lot. So. We're going to wait here for the light to turn green, obviously, and then follow these cars through. And I've never noticed that the car really trusts the cars in front of you. At first, I thought, you know, what would be really smart is if the car could learn from the cars in front of it and kind of follow them and use that as a, a path to, to, to go on. And so it can be a little bit more reliable. But in reality, you can't really trust other drivers that they're doing the right thing. So. Uh, I don't think the car takes that into account. At least I haven't observed that to be the case. So here we are turning left, no lines in the road right here and following through with the turn, nicely done. Okay, staying in the left and then pretty soon here, we're gonna turn on our left turn signal. And the good thing is that we don't have any pressure, nobody behind us coming up here. And there's a couple cars coming as you can see, so it's gonna have to wait. Okay, so surprised it didn't get in the turn lane here. Um, ooh, okay, so, ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I missed that one. All right, so it's gonna keep going here and actually reroute itself. This will be interesting. So it really obviously screwed up. Nobody's behind us, so I'm letting it do this, but yeah, it definitely did not do that right. So it's gonna have to come out. It's gonna make its life a lot harder now because as you can see, we're gonna have to go back out on Gulf Road and take a left turn and that's going to be an unprotected left so yeah really unfortunate now normally if i wasn't doing a youtube video i would have taken over obviously to get into that parking lot but it definitely missed that so i'm going to report it okay now as you can see look at all of these trash cans let me extend the screen look at all of these trash cans showing up it's picking up all the details swerving out of the way of that car quite dramatically we were kind of in the middle of the road so there's no lines on these residential streets but that was really dramatic how it moved out of the way there i've never seen it act that dramatically in the six months that i've been testing here okay coming through this neighborhood and again this is going to be really challenging now it's an unprotected left to get over into this parking lot now there was an entry there on the left and it could have probably taken that this is going to be really challenging. So there's no cars on the left. It really should be going out right now. But if it does, it's going to make me especially very nervous because there's quite a bit of cars on the right. So I'm going to be uh, monitoring this very closely. OK, now it can go, but it's going to have to be very careful. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it's, it's going for it. OK wow it, it actually went out now i was ready to take over there but it, it just boldly went out in the middle of that traffic and there was a car coming i don't think we disturbed him too much there and i think that was appropriately done at the end of the day i got nervous but the car did the right thing because there was a gap on the left side or on the other on the other side of the street with the cars coming so i think that did it just fine okay so here we are again let's see if it can get it for the second time waiting for the light okay this could take a little bit of time here so while we're waiting i just want to point out the fact that in the last earnings call elon musk said you know try it for yourself there was someone asking well how are you tracking the progress of full self-driving beta 
And he basically said as an answer to that question, try it for yourself and then you'll find out. And he mentioned in that statement that every two weeks they're coming out with updates. Well, I can say for a fact that is absolutely false. These updates are coming out now once a month if we're lucky. And that's for me as a beta tester that got in on October 24th, 2021. I've been testing for a little over six months now. And I will say that in the initial stages back in October, November, December, I was getting updates every other week, but now it's every month. So ever since 10.10.2 came out, I was very late to getting the updates. And I think the majority of the beta testers have been getting them very late. So that statement was very false, but that's okay. I, I think he knows that, but he had to say something and he, he didn't want to really uh, say anything bad, obviously, but it's really interesting seeing how he crafts his sentences and, and answers those types of questions. So we've got quite a bit of traffic now behind us asking for a little bit of force on the steering wheel and coming up here. Hopefully it gets it right. Okay. The traffic mysteriously disappeared behind us. Not sure if they just weren't paying attention or what, but now it's turning left again, needs to get into the turn lane screwing up again come on you can do this okay i'm gonna have to take over here all right so that is a disengagement definitely was not making that left turn into this parking lot very disappointing for me but not much i can do about that okay so we are here and it looks like it's coming down to you know it's, it's trying to find this destination so it's trying to get to that pin on the map and I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to do that. So now, interesting enough, we've got a car in back of us and uh, I'm not sure how the car is gonna react here, but it's coming basically trying to get right to that dot and then it's gonna say we've arrived. So here it's saying navigate on autopilot complete and this car behind me is kind of skidding out of control trying to go around me thinking what is going on. Uh, but it says press accelerator to resume. That means that we have arrived. So now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and park it. And this is something you have to do manually. So although you can summon your car, you cannot tell your car to go park itself. So coming through here, we're gonna, just going to find a good spot. There's quite a bit of barriers or shall I say, um, you know, these cement <laughs> uh, barriers. And if you look here, See, there's a piece showing up saying I can park if I wanted to. I don't know what parking spot it's it's uh, trying to find there. But this red here, so sometimes the cameras will get blocked a little bit and it won't lock in those barriers. So it makes me really, really nervous using it when you have these little islands. Because it's, uh, and I'm actually going the wrong way. So I'm gonna have to turn around and, and park it this other way here. But when you, when you have those um, little islands in the parking lots, it makes me really nervous because that's the last thing I would want my car to do, obviously, is to go straight over one of those barriers. So as you can see, there's not a ton of traffic in this parking lot area, which I kind of thought might be the case, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, so I'll, you know what, I'll, I'll park it right here. Just trying to decide a good spot here. So what's kind of cool is that when you park it, it, the summon will actually go in reverse. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and move the steering wheel to the center so that it backs up perfectly in line. If I was gonna be really cruel, I would you know, move the steering wheel all the way like this and give it more of a challenge. I'd probably even go the other way to make it more difficult. But I'm gonna put the, the wheel kind of centered and we're gonna go ahead and do the test. So here I get out of the car and I press the button you can see here to get out of the car. A lot of people think there's some sort of latch or handle to get out, but no, it's all electric. So you just press that button. So if you're new to Tesla's, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, now, as you walk away, the Bluetooth kicks in, whether it's from the key fob or the phone. So right about here, there it was. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, that uh, locked the doors automatically. So what's really nice about the electric cars, well, the Teslas in particular, I'm pretty sure others as well, is you don't need to turn the engine off. You just basically put it in park and get out and walk away and that's, that's it. So as I'm walking up to this restaurant here, a gentleman actually comes out and I get a little bit nervous and try to hide my camera so I don't uh, make him think that I'm filming him. But uh, right from this area here is where I'm gonna execute the smart summon. All right, so we have arrived, and here is my app. Even though I have a black car, I did change it so it's a white, um, a white car on the on the app, 
and uh, it's going to be really hard to hold this steady. I need a steady cam for my other device here. Let me hold it like this. And what we're going to do is go into the app and we're going to check and see if we are close enough. So you have to be within 200 feet to be able to use the smart summon. So give it a moment here so it is connecting. There we go. It says warming up at the moment. Cannot use in current location. Okay. So there it just recalibrated, found out where it was, and now it says go to target. So what I need to do is hit this little people icon. And now it's going to recognize where I am. And it's going to attempt to come to me. So you can see it's kind of going in a loop. Some weird loop. Um, it looks like the path is wrong. So I'm just going to move a little bit this way and wait for it to recalibrate a path. There we go. So now it looks like it has a more accurate path. So we're going to go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the come to me button. We're going to see how this works. All right, so it looks like we don't have any traffic in the parking lot to contend with. We do have two ducks that are in the road. And I know for a fact that it will not see those ducks and it will try to plow right over them. So hopefully those poor ducks move out of the way. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for them to move a little bit and then carry on here. So. We're lucky because there's no other traffic in the parking lot at the moment. Okay, so going around the ducks, not on purpose, but thankfully. It should find our exact location and come right up here. Now, the challenge is if there is another car obviously coming through here. So it looks like it says, okay, we're done, I'm here. I think it's really funny to note that while I was doing this test, some guy just randomly came out and watched the entire thing. Uh, he was pretty fascinated. He said, what do you do? And I was like, uh, I make YouTube videos. And he's like, no, what's, what's your job? I was like, I'm an engineer. So <laughs> I think people have this impression that anyone that owns a Tesla is loaded but it can't be further from the truth. I got lucky with some Bitcoin. I think I told some people that before, but uh, yeah. Okay, so thankfully nobody is here yet, but what I'm gonna do is go in here. This is what you have to do immediately is unfold your mirrors. Obviously, if there's traffic coming, you're gonna move the car quickly first, but you do have to unfold the mirrors because every time you do a smart summon, it folds the mirrors. And that's annoying if you're in a really cold climate and it's freezing cold and there's ice, that can damage the mirrors. So you do have to be careful of when you use it. Uh, I tip, typically don't use it when it's, you know, sub-zero temperatures outside, but I'm gonna move it here out of the way and then set up my rear view camera for the remainder of the drive home. So my GoPro camera failed from here, so unfortunately I don't have the rest of the footage to share with everybody. But if you like this video on Smart Summon, please let me know. I uh, hope to provide more valuable content for all of you guys. Anything that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.